Hello there everyone, thanks for stopping by. I hope you guys are all having a good day. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Josh and I run a YouTube channel Vault Hunters Union. I'm just here to do a little bit of a guide for Kerbal Space Program. Those of you who don't play it, it's a sandbox uh, game that allows you to create your own space planes as well as uh, spaceships and travel in the outer space and visit other planets and moons and stuff like that. Uh, I'm still relatively new at the game, I'm still learning a lot about it, but there are a lot of you that um, are absolute beginners. Um, I've got about 10 hours in the game and I'm still trying to learn things so it is a very, um, you know, there's a lot of learning to be done. Uh, this video I'm going to do a series of different things to help get you started in the game just to keep it simple. Uh, this is going to be part one so this is when we're just going to teach you basically a basic rocket design and uh, we're going to get up into space. So let's call this one VHU, Vault Hunters Union. If you guys are new to the channel I will be doing other ones. Um, so definitely subscribe, check out my other gameplays as well. So when you first type in your name, you will see different ones. This is uh, this is your vehicle assembly, like your um, planes. That's the launch pad. That is, what is that? Oh, flights in progress. So you can, basically the game will allow you to, you can create things in this, in these, uh, different buildings. Launch into space, if you have like a probe, you can release it come back down it'll still be in orbit you can see it here this is your launch pad um, anything you launch will take off here again same thing if you have a plane you land it on the runway you don't land it back in the building it'll stay there um, forever so and then you can actually get your Kerbal Kerbals are the name of the characters the type of characters just like we are humans they can get out of their aircraft and you can get them to get into other aircraft so really cool game to play really fun definitely check it out it's available on Steam for $22.99 it's still in beta this is a uh, version 0 0.19 I think um, so let's get right into the rocket design so we're gonna click on the vehicle assembly building so we're gonna st stick get something very basic going you'll see all the parts here on the left the one you want to use is the for basic is command pod mk1 also if you have the demo version this will be the only one you're able to use so we have our command pod um, so those of you who watch like Apollo 13 and stuff that is basically what um, is the only thing that comes back to the planet after you know everything is launched into space whatever so of course if you watch the movie you know that there has to be something to slow you down so you click on the utility button again you won't see all these in the uh, in the demo version but we will go ahead and put one on this you should see I think it's the MK16 parachute I could be wrong on that it might be a different one um, so we have our basic um, our basic des um, design of the capsule. Now you will need what's called a decoupler. So we'll go here and this is be a stock um, stack decoupler. This is a separator. You want a decoupler because that causes them to kind of blow apart. Um, as opposed to just releasing, this decoupler will actually push one away from the other. Um, so now what we're going to put on here is we need some propulsion. So the first thing we need, obviously these would be jet engines. Um, we're going to put, we need fuel tanks. This has 360 liters or whatever fuel I'm not sure what the unit of measure is so we're going to put um, let's put three three tanks in here that's plenty of fuel probably more than we would need to get into space um, okay so that's pretty good now what we need is an engine now there are different engines like you get the rocket max but see that's just way too big um, so you want to go over them with decent power um, I would probably go with the two one. This one with the uh, liquid fuel engine LT V30. Is it? No, L V T30. So we got an engine on here. Now the next thing we're going to need is a way to fly the airplane. So if you go into, you'll go in aerodynamic, and you got a wing. So now just so you see, you know, you're given the option to put a wing on. If you click it perfect now if you want you have to put another wing on so this is where it gets kind of hard because you sh you're supposed to be in the, with this setting you have to actually manually place each one there's a quick way to do this the correct way is if you look on the bottom left see symmetry mode you can do two so if you click on wings I'll put two there's also three four six and eight um, you really only need four for a s simple design like this, put them towards the bottom of the craft and we'll be good. So, 
um, we're gonna go ahead and try and launch this. Now I should let you guys know, um, I, for those of you who are just looking at videos now, a lot of you guys have probably seen videos by um, Scott Manley. Um, there are others as well. I have tremendous amount of respect for him and I'm not looking to copy him or whatever. I learned a lot from him and I'm just reimplicating a lot of the things he has said and talk about my own opinions and stuff. He's very techni technical about it. He's got a lot of knowledge about it. Sometimes it can be a little hard to to catch all that. So this is a basic design that should get us pretty much into orbit. Um, so what you're going to do, you get on the launch pad, you will see on the left, top, top left, that is your time, so you can, if you have your, as long as you have your throttle down, you can speed up time. Make time go by a lot faster or a lot slower, so you can see on the center, there's seven. Um, and then, so if you look in the center on the top, that's your, alti or your altitude, your atmosphere pressure. Um, that is, I believe, speed. It is speed. Turn your lights, your gears, and your brakes. That would be for if you had a, a plane. Um, this gives you a uh, top right, your mouse hovers over it, and you'll see your uh, amount of oxygen, your fuel level, and your electric charge. Now, let's look on the left. These are your orders of your, um, the different, you have a decoupler, so these would be the order of the sequence. So every time you push the space bar, the next one's going to happen. So once we push space, the rocket will take off, then after we push space again, the, the entire rocket will detach, leaving just the capsule. Space again opens the parachute. Now, don't be when you're playing this game. I, I fell for the trick that zero one two meant zero would be the first one. It's actually a countdown, so two one and zero. Um, you, you'll see ships with um, stuff all the way up to the top once you get further into uh, you know once you get more intricate. Is your rolling, your yaw and your pitch, uh, and your stage. Now this is this is the most important thing right here. Um, you'll see a picture of your kerbal right there. We're here in your center. You want to always try and keep the rocket on the blue. If you're on the blue, that means you're flying away from the planet. If you're in the orange on the other side, which you'll we'll see, um, that means you're basically going heading towards ground. Um, so if as long as you, if unless that's your goal, you always if you're as long as you have your jets, you always want to be flying into the blue. Uh, left side you'll see your throttle. Right side your g-force. And this top is your how many meters per second. So we're going to go ahead and give this a shot. So you're going to hold shift down. So get the throttle up. And just a simple tap of the space bar. And we're off. So the most important thing when flying, guys, do not stare at the ship. Because your camera might be all messed up. Always keep your eye on the blue ball. Uh, and try and keep it right in the center, especially for the first 10,000 or 12,000 meters or so. So what we're going to do is we're taking off pretty quick here. So we are going to wait until we get to approximately 100 and I'm going to say 150 meters per second. And yeah, so when you're flying this, uh, it's important to note left and right. When you're trying to reposition yourself on the ball, left and right will bring you left and right. Up brings you down, down brings you up on the ball. So if you're if you're above the dot and you have to bring it down, push up left and right we're fine. So we're getting close to about 150 meters here. You see on the left fuel tank is starting to, it's about a third of the way drown. Once it gets to about 150 meters per second, the we're going to be wasting a lot of fuel um, battling the atmosphere and the pressure and stuff like that. Once we get about 10,000, 12,000 meters that will go down. So once you get to about 150 you're going to throttle down. And uh, so we throttle down actually do about 50%. This is going to conserve some fuel and help us really make a push to get into outer space. So we're doing pretty good. Once you get about 10,000 meters, um, there's not going to be a whole lot more air resistance. Um, so we can throttle up a little bit more. So let's throttle up. And uh, we'll go ahead and get out of the atmosphere. see very far away. So there are different places you can go. Let's see if we can see the moon in here. There's the sun. There's the moon. It can be rather difficult to get to the moon. Um, 
I've only been able to do it a couple times. We're gonna get better at it, and then once I get the hang of it, I will be making a video, of course, expecting that. The next video, we'll be talking about how to get into orbit. Um, okay, so let's throttle down a bit and save some fuel. We're accelerating rather quickly still. So we are technically in, you see, it said went from surface uh, to orbit. So this would probably be a good time, like once you, you know, once you get the hang of getting this into space, maybe to put a smaller engine, smaller fuel tank with a smaller engine underneath that, so that once you get into space and this fuel, these three tanks burn out, you have one more smaller engine uh, that'll last a very long time because you're very economical in space. There's no air resistance. Um, so we are approaching 70,000 meters. We may hear the music kick on, letting us know that we're in space out of the atmosphere but we're still not out of the earth's gravitational force not quite yet um, just a little bit more and it won't be long because we're gonna have a lot of momentum that'll carry us out now if you press M you're gonna see Apple Apps shows will be about 300,000 meters and then we'll start turning around but eventually it's gonna the amount we're flying out with all this force eventually that's just gonna disappear because we're gonna be out of the earth's gravitational force but we're not gonna stay like this. We're going to throttle down. Just enjoy the view here. Alright, so what we're going to do, now we want to return home. So, what we're going to do is we're going to slowly rotate the ship. This is one way to return home. If we were to wait, we would still probably be able to turn around and come back. But we're just not going to worry about it. We're going to we're gonna head on home the manual way. So we're still, let's see where we are. Yeah, we're still in the Earth's at, um, resistance, but 450,000 meters above, we would still turn around. Um, so let's begin the process of turning the ship over. And yeah, we're heading back towards ground. This is probably not the way you wanna do it better off letting the momentum take you down but whatever we're just going to try and overcome the force of momentum taking us into outer space and we're aimed back at the ground let's throttle and all we're doing is just going to try and overcome you see the orbit is now going down dramatically we're just overcoming the force put on by our jet so we're just using the jet And it looked like we did not put enough. Let's see here. Yeah, we are going to come back. Okay, so I sped up time. Now you see we are coming back. Just go ahead and we'll go ahead and detach here. Wow, I sped up way too fast. Detach. And there we go. So now it doesn't matter that we're, we have no control over what's happening here. So we have throttle down. We can speed up a little bit. We're at 45,000 meters. That's not going to be far behind. There's the moon, actually. Yeah, this is a big important thing. Physics, even if like, you're speeding up time, you're also speeding up the movement of the object. You're, you're warping time. So it's important that when you're getting close to the ground to slow down time. So here, we're going to go ahead and once we get under... Oh, fuck. Damn. All right, we're gonna go ahead and launch our parachute now. So you can deploy your parachute and warp time, but once you get under about a thousand meters, um, it's advised to go back to normal time, wait for the parachute to deploy, and then you can speed up time. But once you get close to the ground, again, slow down time because you're falling faster because time is warped and you may destroy the capsule. Um, and then if you have time warped when you're about to open up your parachute, there's the possibility of the parachute getting damaged. So we're under 500 meters, so we're getting close to 500. We're going to go ahead and speed up time, wait for it to come close, and touchdown. And we made it. So now what you can do if you want is you can click on here, EVA, and we're out. And you're free to roam the planet. Now, this is cool when you get to other planets like the moon and stuff, you're able to get out, explore the, sh explore the planet, see what it has to offer. There's other things that you can do. 
and you just get in. How do you get in there? And then we're in. So there's not much we can do now because we don't have any jets. But that's pretty much going to do it for this tutorial, guys. In the next video, uh, I'm going to show you guys how to get into orbit. Um, again, with a very simple design. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, I appreciate it if you left me a like rating below and let me know you guys want to see more. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe because I am really into this game and I am going to be doing lots of instructional videos. But other than that, again, I hope you guys have a good day and we'll see you next time. Goodbye.